Hello, my name is Hector Arevalo with the CIA team. I'm here with Helen Tang, also leader of the Converged Infrastructure Worldwide. Hello, Helen. Hi, Hector. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks. Welcome to the HP World Tour. Thank you. Can I ask you a couple of questions regarding servers? Of course. Excellent. So the first one is, um, what's the most remarkable uh, difference or evolution in servers uh, for this new style of IT? The new style of IT requires just a completely different level of extreme speed, extreme agility. One of the big things that's going to enable it is the true trend of convergence. So we're talking about integrated systems. Depending on whose analyst report you're reading, it's projected to grow anywhere between 50 to 100% every year for the next five years. And that's a huge amount of servers that will be bought in chunks of capacity, in integrated environments that combine server storage networking not just silos anymore, but virtualized capacity that can scale up and down very quickly, be very automated, and that's going to change a lot of things in IT, including how everything is procured, managed, deployed, and supported. Wow, excellent. So can you tell me a little bit more about HP's offering in terms of software-defined servers? Of course. Um, so HP is, as you know, the leader in server, and we're very happy with our position. We've been the leader in server space for the last two decades. And we have so many continuous innovations in every single one of the server space. But let me just highlight a couple that I find particularly exciting. Uh, when you talked about software-defined servers, that would be referring to our moonshot. Moonshot is the industry's very first software-defined server. It's um, a cartridge model, so it actually fits in the size of my hand. It's powered by chips that run, say, your smartphones today. So it's very, very energy efficient, extreme small form factor. So it gives you, you know, 97% less complexity, uh, uses 80% less space, but can power some of the world's most demanding applications. HP.com, for example, today runs on it. Um, another thing I want to highlight is our SL4500, which is the industry's first server designed for big data. It comes in a variety of flavors, right? Big data or SL4500 for Hadoop applications, for Microsoft Exchange, for OpenStack, and it's just designed for that type of workload, designed with the optimal mix of compute and storage. Another thing I want to highlight in the space is, of course, our converged systems. We talked about the integrated trend earlier. Converged system 300 and 700 for virtualization delivers the best virtualization environment for the best performance, the best TCO, and that's something that was launched in December. A lot of customers already are deploying it and having a lot of success. Excellent. Thank you very much. One last question. Sure. Um, any uh, advice for uh, our viewers that are thinking into moving in a journey to a converged infrastructure. Absolutely. Um, convergence is the absolute must for any IT organization today. When they think about it, they need to think about it as a journey, which means they need to have a strategic plan, they want to have a specific roadmap, and they can't um, not include fa the human factor. So they need to think about possibly retraining, reskilling their existing uh, workers to make sure that they're ready to be the cloud architects and the convergence masters of tomorrow. Another thing they want to do is probably reach out for help. A lot of vendors like us, like the partners we work with, have expertise helping other customers on this journey. So it just makes a lot of sense to have a conversation with HP or one of our partners to see where they stand today, where they want to get to tomorrow, and have us working together, chart a path for them to get to the future of cloud and of a converged infrastructure. Well, excellent. That's very interesting. Thank you very much, Helen. Thanks for your time.